This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Mercedes bounced back with a brilliant podium finish in Canada, and it's given Toto Wolf a brilliant new idea. Mercedes are yet to see two drivers on the podium this season, but they came pretty close in Canada. With Lewis Hamilton finishing third and George Russell finishing fourth, Mercedes showed signs of serious improvement, and Toto knows why. Speaking to Sky Sports after the Canadian Grand Prix, Wolf said, You can see at the hairpin where they put new asphalt in there. That's where we suffer less from the stiffness of the car, which is the main problem. When asked how they were going to move forward, Wolf jokingly replied, Well, first of all, we're going to diversify our business. We're going into the asphalt laying business. We're going to buy some machines, go to all the tracks, and offer them a new layer of asphalt. I think it would be well invested money. If all goes to plan, Mercedes should be equally quick at Silverstone, as the circuit paid £5 million to completely resurface the track in 2019. The Brackley based team has had a difficult start to the 2022 campaign, with its W13 suffering from both a bouncing and bottoming out problem. The phenomenon has been so bad on its cars that complaints from George Russell and Lewis Hamilton about the physical pain they are enduring has triggered FIA intervention to help the situation. But after an encouraging Canadian Grand Prix weekend, where the team was at perhaps its most competitive in pace terms so far this season, as it finished third and fourth, team boss Toto Wolff has revealed how the squad's focus has changed. He believes that the Montreal weekend has shown that the porpoising issue, where the car moves up and down as load increases on the straight, has been eradicated after work the team has done. But as a result of the super stiff and low ride height setup that Mercedes has needed to get its car working properly, the issue for it now is how much the car strikes the ground when the circuit is bumpy. I think in a way, we have dissected what we define as porpoising or bouncing, and it is that the porpoising which is the aerodynamic movement of the car, I think that's solved, and we've got on top of this around Barcelona, he explained. It is more that the ride of the cars is really what causes the comments of the drivers. The cars are simply too stiff. The curb ride is bad. The bump ride is bad. And I would say that now, with dissecting this problem, you can tackle it better. Wolf thinks the progress that Mercedes has made on porpoising has put its car in a similar setup window to rivals, who also appear to be suffering from how stiff things need to be run. What we see in the cars is just the stiffness, he said. You look at some of the slow motions from the two cars and the Alpines, you see that they are bouncing off the curb in a very hard way. This is what the drivers actually complained about, the stiffness of the car. This is something we need to look at, how we can reduce the impact. And of course, the smoother the track, the better. The lower the curbs, the less we see this phenomenon. Stand out online with a professional website, online store, portfolio or blog. With Squarespace, you can turn any idea into a reality. Build a page using pre-designed structures for specific purposes such as contact, about, blog, portfolio, products and more. Page elements are arranged to quickly create professional layouts and showcase your content. Add or remove blocks to create a custom look. Using the design panel, it is possible to enhance your website with hundreds of customizable settings, including fonts, colors, animations, and padding. Every Squarespace website can be made to look unique with just a few clicks. Squarespace has features which can help with your business schedules. Clients can book appointments right from your Instagram or Facebook business profile. Integrate your scheduling profile with your Instagram or Facebook business account to add a booking button to your business's Instagram or Facebook business account. Follow your engagement analytics. Track engagement with an activity log, form and button conversions, popular content, site search, keywords and RSS subscribers. Get insights into traffic traffic sources and the keywords that drive traffic to your site from Google and other search engines. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash slipstream to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. With Canada highlighting that Mercedes still needed to bring more performance to the car, Wolf says key for making progress was in trying to unlock more pace from the car at a wider range of ride heights. I think we just need to put more load in the car, more down 
workforce. And equally, do that with a car that is not as low on the ground as we expected, he said. It's a clear direction. You can see the cars going higher, and this is where we need to find the performance. Mercedes have glimpsed the potential in their car with the encouraging performance in the Canadian Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton has said. The seven times world champion finished third in the race ahead of teammate George Russell. He came in seven seconds behind Max Verstappen after a safety car period eradicated his 27 second deficit to the leader earlier in the race. Hamilton was encouraged to see he could briefly stay in touch with Verstappen and Carlos Sainz Jr. after the final restart. It feels great today to be in amongst the battle, he said after the race. For a second, at the end there, I was just about keeping up with these guys, but then they pulled away at the end. But it's given me and the team a lot of hope. Mercedes have endured a difficult start to the season with their W13, which has not yielded the expected levels of performance and has frequently subjected its drivers to heavy porpoising and bouncing. Now Hamilton believes the team are starting to make progress with it. I think that there's more to come from this car, he said. The potential is truly there. We can get the setup right. That's been the most difficult thing this year, really trying to optimize the setup. The window for this car is much, much smaller than any other car we've experienced. The team have experienced with extreme configurations in their efforts to understand and solve their problems. One such experiment left Hamilton describing his car as a disaster. After moving closer to his teammate setup, Hamilton said the car performed much better. We tried two different avenues and the avenue I was down was dreadful, he said. So we collated all the data we had and we made drastic changes to the setup. And it was much, much nicer today, more in line with what we anticipated and it was good. When you get a full race distance in, you find a lot of things out about the car and the relationship you have with the car and data, etc. So there's a lot to take from today. The balance I had on Friday was neutral, super positive, so no rear end, he added. As soon as you apply one degree of turning, the rear end's coming around. I was just fighting that constantly and it was very difficult to keep it out of the wall. That's why I didn't finish my long run because it's just undrivable in the setup window that we tried. It was just an experiment to see whether the car would work there and it didn't. So then we made the changes and today was a much better balance in terms of I had a little nice amount of understeer today, better traction, not having those snaps. So it was night and day difference, but we still have bouncing. That's not going away. With the gradual improvements happening at Mercedes since the start of the season, it is now hoped that come the next race at Silverstone, they will once again be ready to challenge for the podium. Mercedes technical director Mike Elliott confirmed the team will be bringing upgrades with them to Silverstone with the aim of trying to push the car forward and up the field. The team showed improvement form in Montreal after raising the ride height on George Russell and Lewis Hamilton's cars to try and ease the bouncing that has plagued them all season long. And these upgrades will look to bring the reigning constructors champions closer to Ferrari and Red Bull at the head of the field. One thing you can be sure of is we will push as hard as we can, Elliot said in Mercedes' post-race debrief video. We'll be bringing new bits to Silverstone. We will be trying to push the car forward, trying to get some pace from the car we've got or from the package we've got as well as the new bits we're going to add to it. I think at the same time though, we have to be honest with ourselves and say that at the moment we are just a little bit behind those front runners in Ferrari and Red Bull. And in a normal race, I think it's going to be tough. But after three consecutive street races, Silverstone represents a return to more conventional circuits in Formula One. And after showing potential at the last circuit of that ilk in Spain, Elliot hopes to see Mercedes elevate themselves further and put on a show for the driver's home supporters. I think Silverstone will be a circuit that suits us a little bit better, like Barcelona did, but maybe it will be a little bit difficult. Whatever happens, we'll push as hard as we can, he said. Our drivers will push as hard as we can because we want to get back to winning. We want to win for the team. We definitely want to win. And we want to win for you, the fans. So let's see what happens. And these improvements have been noted by longtime rival Red Bull team principal Christian Horner. Mercedes' pace at the end of the race was very strong, so they could be a factor at Silverstone. So I think it's going to be interesting to see. I'm hearing there's going to maybe be some upgrades on the Ferrari for Silverstone, so it's going to be an interesting one. Certainly the Mercedes looked strong in Canada during the race after a pretty concerning looking set of runs in practice and that will boost their fans with hopes that they're making progress with the car. Ferrari have a quick package too and will be pleased that both drivers saw the finish in Montreal with Carlos Sainz in P2 and Charles Leclerc recovering from P19 on the grid to P5.
Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash slipstream to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.